Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Farscape. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Angela and I am starting my journey with Farscape. Something that I have been told that I'm absolutely going to love because this little guy right here, I don't, I don't even know what he is. I've had him for like two years. I know what he is, but I'm, I've heard he's on this show. I don't know, but I've also heard Jim Henson was uh, involved. And when Jim Henson's involved in anything, my childhood, <laughs> like source, it gets really happy. Uh, pretty much anything Jim Henson has ever done, I've absolutely loved. And I grew up with it. And um, you combine sci-fi with puppets, <laughs> it could be awful or it could be amazing. Now, my cousin Shannon has repeatedly said she absolutely loves this show and she can't wait for me to watch it. So I'm finally watching it, Shannon. This one's for you and the rest of Patreon that voted for it. Uh, Doctor Who also won the poll, as did Babylon 5. I didn't want to choose and I just figured I'd watch the first season of both of them or all of them at the same time. There we go. There we go. Uh, so yeah, the, you'll probably find Doctor Who on the channel. I just finished Battlestar Galactica. I'm still mourning that loss, but I have absolutely loved The Expanse and then Firefly mixed in there. Not one of them shows are exactly the same as the other. I expect this one to be completely different than Battlestar Galactica. Thank God. I love that show. I love it so much. It was incredibly heavy and I've heard that this one is lighter and more fun. Also that the first season, it didn't really find its footing, which is completely fine with me because if we're working with puppets and with space and with science fiction, <laughs> why find a footing, period? So guys, I'm super excited to get into this. So let's get into it. It shows its age. It's fine. I like his shirt. Are those octopuses? Octopi? Kraken? He's cute. He's really cute. He looks like Chris Evans. A little bit. Launch conditions as of 0530 are optimal. How are the CRC numbers? Mid 30s and holding. Meteorology's got some hiccup oh, to check. Oh, look at his out. hair. So 90s. Childhood friends out to prove a theory. Can a manned spacecraft exponentially increase its speed using only a planet's natural gravitational pull? Huh? Ooh, this sounds like it's gonna go awesome. Man, what is wrong with you? He's nervous! You know that feeling you get the night before something big's about to happen in your life? It's the night before we graduated high school. Oh, it's the I didn't feel that. Night before we started this job. I had that feeling last night in quarantine. So it's big. This experiment that important to you? It sounds huge. Hey, DK. Sir. Well, you're looking pretty sharp there, Commander Crichton. Crichton. Thanks, Dad. Oh. Mm. Sir. I don't know if that's correct or not. Let's do this thing. I like that confidence. Better than what he was dealing with before, but... Space shit! I heard that you, uh, you went AWOL from the rat cage this morning. <laughs> Man, in my day, if I'd ever broken quarantine like that, they would have. Well, he's going to be stuck in his ship. Why wouldn't he want to kind of, like, get some air? Didn't matter how many times I went up. Every time, Rattlers. First EVA. First time I walked on the moon. I'm not going EVA, Dad. I'm not walking on the moon. I'm just running a little experiment. But it, I would be nervous. The only thing I ever got to use was the guts and the seat of my flight suit. Son, I can't help being who I am. It's not who you are, Dad. I love who you are. Aww. It's being son of who you are. <laughs> Shadow. Look, I can't be your kind of hero. No, you can't be. But each man gets a chance to be his own kind of hero. Oh my god, I love these two already. I know. That's your good luck charm. Listen, you hang on to it. You give it back to me tonight, okay? Oh, oh no. Considering this seems to take place in a really weird place with puppets, I don't think he's coming home. Great stock footage. <laughs> uh, I've always wanted to watch a ship take off from Cape Canaveral. Or the SpaceX, I don't even care what it is. I want to watch a rocket ship take off. 
Commander John Crichton will pilot a craft of his own design in a dangerous attempt to use our planet's gravity, slingshotting him off into space at previously unrecorded speeds. The results are anticipated as the first concrete step toward interstellar travel. Interstellar travel? That's what he's trying to do? Look at that ship! Canaveral, this is Farscape 1. I am free and flying. That's why it's called Farscape. Why, am I, why do I have tears in my eyes? Approaching maximum velocity in 21 seconds. Ooh. 18 seconds. All right, all right. Electromagnetic wave. Repeat some kind of wave. We didn't know this was coming? Yeah, I mean it. This might be how you get interstellar travel. Ship meets wave. Son, you have to abort. Space shit. He's okay. He's just gonna make some new friends. <laughs> So is this what they would consider a wormhole? Oh. This could have been a ride, my goodness. <laughs> this is so old, but it's like doing its job. Woo, boy! Welcome to the other side. Canaveral, this is Farscape One. Are they just gonna think he's dead? <laughs> Hey, did you guys get video through all that? Get out, bro. Oh, boy. Where are you guys? Where's... John, you're not at Earth anymore. Earth. Yeah. <gasps> what the... Why did I think that those were Cylon Raiders? Uh... Get out, bro. <laughs> Oh, cool. I know it's old, but I'm already so excited. Oh, aliens! Oh, Edward James almost would not and could not. Oh, Claudia Black. I've heard so much about her, and I've never seen her in anything other than, like, Ahsoka as a witch. I don't know any of you wonderful, beautiful people in makeup. What is this? I love it! <laughs> I'm already having a good time. I feel bad for John. He's not at home anymore. Go play with your new friends. Will you stop getting so close to him? Oh. Did he just kill somebody? Uh-huh. Dope! Wait, no, they're attacking it! Oh, I don't know who said we're on. I mean, the big ship is scary. They might be friendly. Oh, yeah. Uh, DK, I'm being pulled. Uh, the engine's not responding and I can't break away. Look, can anybody hear me, Canaveral? All right, all right. This, this normally doesn't start out with, like, friendly people, so I'm not expecting them to be friendly. It's, it's, it's no Clinton Shorter or Bear McCreary, but I kind of like the music. It's like... <laughs> I wasn't expecting the wings to fold. What? <gasps> is that what that is? Please be friendly, because you're awfully cute. Did it just set your ship on fire? Okay, maybe we don't like them? Is that the lid you just blew off your ship? Hey, little guy. Oh, you're broken. I can't tell if they're nice or not. They look cute. That looks cute. Oh. oh another one. Oh, don't shoot him. Scan him. Pinch him. 
Okay, we got aliens. <laughs> Friend or foe? Ah! Oh, she's dope. Hi. Oh. My name's John. John. <laughs> Did he just drill into his foot? Your ship. What kind is He can it? understand them now? Did that little machine just do that? The ship appeared from nowhere and we don't know that technology. Is it something we can use to escape? We brought you aboard for one reason. Tell us or die. Maybe us. simmer down. Maybe simmer down. I think that there's no reason to do this. I demand you give me maneuverability now! Oh! Oh, he's dope! There's nothing I can do. Not while the control collar is still in place. There's a control collar? Moya can't withstand this assault much longer. Moya, is that the ship? Those synapses you are tearing out are not wired to the control collar. I shall keep pulling until I find the ones that are. Jeez. Oh, hey, dude. <laughs> the others, where are they? Oh, eyebrows, I love you. I can't wait to learn all their names. They brought you on board, didn't they? Don't worry. I look after you now. You look after me later. Big, big lips. Get them away from my face. What have you done? What do you mean? You just pulled on a bunch of wires. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Lickety split. The control collar is coming off. <sighs> Dope. Okay. Underlay, underlay. Let's go. Oh. Oh, pilot's got a fancy little seat. Prepare for immediate starbursts. Moya has been restrained so long. She's a Leviathan. It is the single defensive maneuver that she is capable of. I'm learning much. Moya's a ship. She is a Leviathan. Uh, she can do a starburst maneuver. All prowlers terminate assault. Those are prowlers, not raptors. <laughs> I'm learning. Prepare for starburst. Oh, I can't wait for this. Show me what a starburst is. Ah! That's taking a really long time. I love them. They're delicious. And they're very pretty. <gasps> Dope. It's not like jumping into hyperspace. It isn't like jumping FTL. I love that they're all different. Makes me happy. Okay, but who are those people? Mm, he's got an evil goatee. A Leviathan transporting prisoners does not escape while in my custody. Has my brother returned yet? I'll dispatch him in the rear battle fighter to track it down. Sir, this is playback from the recon satellite monitoring the pursuit of the Leviathan. Ah, oh, they're gonna see our our boy John. My brother's prowler. I'm sure that he will. Status of Leviathan Oh, his brother died. Well, his brother ran into him. John didn't do anything. Peel back the image. I want to see who is inside. See? Evil goatee. Oh, dope. <laughs> We've done it. We've escaped. Who is this guy? I like him. I want to know more about the pilot. Oh. Oh. Why? 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 What is the matter with you people? Go. Oh. He got spat on, he got licked, he got stabbed in the foot by a robot. He's having a rough day, and this is not Kansas anymore. You're a Delian. A priest. Oh. I've heard of your kind's practices. Uh-oh. Your... Witches? Appetites. Oh. Such as? I've heard of something known as the, uh, fourth sensation. Oh. Well, I have experienced this. Yes. 
Not lately. But maybe later. <sighs> She's seen your tongue. <laughs> oh, please, let it all be a dream. <laughs> Sorry, a buddy. Bad, very twisted dream. I'm enjoying your dream. What are they? Oh, this guy. Rigel? Uh, what, um... Are your clothes? Where are my clothes? Let me see. <laughs> Why did you take off my clothes? I am Rigel the 16th, dominar to over 600 billion people. I don't need to oh. talk to you. You took his clothes. Your garments were removed so that we could examine you. Ex examine me? How? Probe. Where? Where? <laughs> where those, those mechanical things of yours injected me right here. Translator microbes. Hmm. That's what I figured. Well, well, why have you got me locked in here? I I'm not here to harm you. Hell, I wouldn't know how to harm you. We can no more trust you than we can trust that. What's that? Oh. Was that the pilot of the other ship? Ah, she's pretty. My name's John. Yeah. Um, that's not nice. What is your rank and regiment? And why are you out of uniform? Rank and regiment now. <laughs> Hi, hello. Nice to meet you. Let me out of here, you Hynerian oh. slug. Your efforts are wasted, Peacekeeper. You of all people should know that. Peacekeeper? You're one of those out there attacking the ship. They think I'm one of you? Officer Aaron Sun, Special Peacekeeper Commando, Icarian Company, plies our regiment. It's a lot of words. You need to listen to me. I'm not what you think I am. Not a peacekeeper? Yes, we know that now. You have some decidedly unfamiliar bacteria living within you. I'm from oh. a planet called Earth. I'm human. Homo sapiens sapien. It's time for us to eat. Uh, you? Oh, uh, them? Eat what? Yeah. <laughs> Whoever killed my brother would pay dearly. Your brother can't drive. He's Sebation. Sebation. Inform the rear battle fighter. We are going after the Leviathan. But, sir, a regulation. That is a direct order, Lieutenant. Ooh, revenge for your brother sucking at flying. Look, you know I'm not a peacekeeper. How about you get this stuff off my wrist? We still do not know your loyalties. My loyalties? I just got here. You know, he doesn't have any loyalties. He's loyal to you guys. You know, this ship is amazing. What kind of... She's a Leviathan, a biomechanoid, a living ship. Huh. Normally that would be like, oh my god, a living ship. But I'm used to those by now. We're approaching an inhabited system with a commerce planet. A commerce planet? Excellent. We need many things. Hynerian cream soap, get some fresh generated syrup to get rid of the oh, taste of these he's tube. used to being taken care of. Before we approach this planet, we must know, is there peacekeeper presence in this system? I don't know. <laughs> he's absolutely useless right now to them. Peacekeeper Command tells her where to fight and die. This one is some kind of higher brain function deficient now. Rigel? I just have. It's a perfectly natural bodily function. And it's odorless. So your loyal subjects tell you. <laughs> you find <laughs> helium? Sometimes. When I'm nervous. <laughs> or angry. For helium? <laughs> and you can't hide it. You can't have a silent bird because everyone gets squeaky. You only expose your ignorance if you don't concede knowledge of the Hurlian Stone. Oh, oh. Oh. Twenty barrels of fluid. Oh, that's a lot there of was teeth. a time when you would have been disemboweled with a dull lesson spade bar for such an insult to me. Mm -hmm. Thirty-five. Boy, was Spielberg ever wrong. <laughs> Niti von Home. 
<sighs> wormhole. What are you trying to do, girl? I must have come here through a wormhole. So if I did come here through a wormhole, the only way I'm going to get back is to find another wormhole. Yep, and hope or that it goes one. to that spot. Yeah. Create one. Maybe they can. <sighs> Come on, move faster. What are you doing? I'm gonna sabotage. They got out with just sabotage. a fork. Give me a break. They haven't hurt us. How about we show them a little compassion? Oh, I like him. I like him a lot. Compassion. What is compassion? Compassion. You're kidding, right? It's a feeling that you have when you see someone else's pain and instead of taking advantage of their weakness, you help them. Oh, I know this feeling. I hate it. <laughs> I could see that. What is that? That's cutting edge technology. We're taking mine. Oh, did they already escape? But she's going to take him back to that ship and Goatee is very upset with him. Captain! We are receiving a transmission from Aaron Sun, the Prowler pilot we thought we'd lost. She was taken captive aboard the Leviathan, but she's escaped. She has the beam from the white pod with her. Well, he needs to get back with his ship. And those aliens. <laughs> I'm on another planet. You sure are, buddy. Trouble. We must go. I'm really appreciating the lighting they have on this show. It's so funny because I just heard like people complaining about like there not being enough aliens in Star Wars, and there's so much in this one. <laughs> you need to get out of here. There's a ship full of peacekeepers on its way here right now. Traitor. But a traitor. He's not loyal to anybody. Just go before. I will not fall for such an ancient ruse. Fall, you will. <laughs> I want to see. I want to see this warrior fight. Let him fight. So really not that great a fighter. Okay. Name. John Crichton. And where are you from? John Crichton. Sir, he claims to be a human from a planet called Earp, but he's shown himself <laughs> to be what? Earp. Soon. <laughs> imposter. An accomplice to a ship full of escaping prisoners. My brother's murderer. No. Brother's what? You charged my brother's prowler in that white death pot of yours. Wait a minute. No you, such thing happened. talking about that near miss I had the first minute I got here? That, that was an accident. There was no near miss for my brother. He's a horrible flyer. Uh, I, I've got nothing. I will personally enjoy pulling you apart to see what you are made of. Cool, yeah. Evil goatee. Hey. Wait. Yes, Officer Sun. You know something about this alien? Only that I have Compassion. Spent time with him, sir. Compassion, and Aaron. Even when he says that what happened to your brother was an accident, I don't believe that he is brave enough or intelligent enough to attack one of our prowlers intentionally. Well, that's not nice. Peacekeeper High Command has very clear parameters regarding contact with unclassified alien life forms. You may have very well exceeded those parameters, Officer Soon, which no, would make sir, you I... irreversibly contaminated. No, sir, I... Take oh, away. oh, yeah, how easily you're tossed away, Aaron. Learn a thing or two. Warrior to warrior, I vow one day I will kill you. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> I have no reason to not like that man other than horrible facial hair. But, uh, yeah, how easily he just threw away Aaron. Right, turn around. I really need to look up this actor because he is, like, Chris Evans before Chris Evans was Chris Evans. <laughs> Suckers! Oh! Yeah, you don't know how to shoot that, kiddo. Uh, John, you're cute, but, like, stop aiming... Little yellow bolts of light. <laughs> unlock me, then I will unlock you. No, Take care. Take care. Oh, Do the dude first. Unlock me. Ooh, you getting good with that? Phaser set to fun. Now unlock me. No, he is a criminal. We all are. Yeah, girl. 
You're facing a death sentence. What? Can you get me off this rock, away from these overamped Renacops, away from Krace? <laughs> what? Never. She. If she stays, we all stay. See, he's a good dude. I don't know if she deserves that, but he's a good dude. I will not come with you. You've been irreversibly contaminated, remember? It means death. It's my duty, my breeding. Since birth, it's what I am. You can be, oh, be something more. Yes. See? Distance between the pursuing peacekeeper carrier and Moya. 60 meters in closing. Yeah, maybe take off? Get out of there? What is the range of their frag cannons? I'm afraid neither Moya nor I is sufficiently conversant with peacekeeper technology. Cool. Come on, Aaron. 45 metres. She's useful. Starburst things. There's no time. The Leviathan must restore her energy reserves. 50 metres. Okay, so how do we get away? Evasive flying? Paper. Mm, to ride, to ride on. on. Turn the ship around. We have to Hot. go back toward the planet. Go back to the planet. It has to do with overcoming atmospheric friction. Are you completely insane? Okay, okay, okay. Can this ship thing be flown manually? Manually. Yes, but there are... Good, you do it. I am not trained as a pilot. Fine. You fly. Yes, girl, this go. Madness. You're gonna get blown apart. You gotta go. Come on. It appears our only alternative is death. <laughs> <laughs> Pilots, give me maneuverability now! We may dodge one shot, but never a throw a rush! <laughs> okay. Fire. Do they have shields on? Just go for the maximum, let the planet's gravity pull us in. X9! Straight. He's using his own theory. To escape, I love it. More speed to swing shot us out. <laughs> John Creighton, scientist. Sir, the Leviathan, she's I can about see that lieutenant. Pull out, pull out now. <laughs> Dope. Not bad for a human. We've lost her. Contaminate the whole ship, John. Contaminate the shit out of it. <laughs> we need to talk. Ugh. You have a warrior's instinct. Good. We'll need that. Maybe don't approach him like that. Oh my God. <clears throat> I have spent eight degrading cycles aboard this ship, and now I'm finally liberated. Congratulations. Mm -hmm. I don't know who you are, where you're from, or what you want, but if you threaten my freedom, I'll kill you. Calm down. <sighs> Welcome to space. They're a brutal race. Uncivilized. Indiscriminate in their deployment of violence. All right. Kind of like I you. like your people. My people might have helped you if you hadn't put us into this position. If you want to live, choose your allegiances carefully. That's not to say that there's any guarantees, though. I don't think she's trustworthy. Just saying. Hey, buddy. John, will you fix this light? Come here. Hey, Dad. It worked. DK's in my theory. It actually worked. Look, I know this is uh, crazy. I mean, you're never going to get this message, but I just wanted to let you know that I'm alive. Oh, oh hold still, hold still. Don't know where I, I am. The show ends with him getting back to Earth. I how I got here, but I'm not going to stop trying to get home. See? You're fixed. Kinda. Hmm. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Your equipment may be worth something in trade. Keep your hands off. Are you a sound sleeper? Oh. Wow. Sorry, John. And there's life out here, Dad. Weird, amazing, psychotic life. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, 
and Technicolor. Yeah. Dad, you know those rattlers in the stomach we talked about? Well, I got them now. Okay, that's episode one. Brian Henson, executive producer. That makes sense. I don't know any of these people. Jim Henson's Creature Shop. That's about it. <laughs> okay, that's it for the first episode. This music is something. So, let's see. John is Ben Browder. John is... He's Captain America. He... It's nice to look at. Well casted, well castered. Okay, Claudia Black is Aaron. She's dope, but I don't trust Aaron. Da Argo, who I was like Ka and Puau or whatever their names are. I I don't really know what purple lady goes by. If it's Pau Zoto Jean or if it's just Jean. Um, but she called the big guy Diargo. Uh Captain Crace. <laughs> evil facial hair um let's see they don't have i'm looking at episode one and there's people on here that i have no idea uh, who they are dk is murray bartlett which i know murray bartlett from um the last of us like the best episode of television ever made but i don't know who dk is so maybe that'll be a reoccurring character was that that wasn't his friend the guy with the 90s hair and the ear piercing now i don't remember Let's see, Rigel, Jonathan Hardy. I don't know if he has those eyebrows on purpose in this picture or not. <laughs> it could be a joke. <laughs> okay, so we got Pilot, which they don't have a name for. He's dope because he's the only one who hasn't been a jerk. Although Purple Lady, uh, Jean, uh, she seems very spiritual. And she said that she was like the lead anarchist and that she was doing hard time, it sounds like. Uh, but then also there's this fourth sensation that her and Dargo kind of had this moment. <laughs> She's saucy. We saw her a little necky. Um, let's see. Erin. She seems dope. Hard around the edges right now. She was very much trained to be, you know, a very specific person to live in this universe and, and do her job and she was doing it and she was fulfilling everything um but it doesn't seem like they uh, really value her as much as she thinks she is valued uh or that her loyalty is valued um let's see captain crace his brother's stupid <laughs> he can't fly it's his fault it's his fault it's not john's fault i feel bad for john because like technically he proved his theory he just hit that wave and it cause intergalactic travel which i guess is like what we wanted or interstellar travel i don't really know what the difference is <laughs> i love spaceship but just enough to love it but not be like totally like <laughs> what they got wrong is like i don't i don't i don't want to do that i don't want to do that at all uh because i don't care that much um but i do care enough that it feels real and uh it seems dope and so far feels real Seems dope. <laughs> I love the creature so far. It's eyebrows and facial hair city. Like that's how you really just show like an alien is like give it a lot of teeth, give it some like funky eyebrows, a mustache, uh, a, a, a evil goatee. Loving it, loving it. And it's funny because um, the Acolyte trailer came out for Star Wars and a lot of people were like, there's no aliens, which I know is like one of the fun things about Star Wars is like the cool aliens. Um, <laughs> aliens are plenty here, uh, except the peacekeepers seem humanoid or human-ish adjacent. Um, but, uh, apparently, uh, they think that Aaron has now been contaminated by John <laughs> a little bit because she actually felt a moment of compassion for him. See, a really good human can change the world or in this case, the universe, at least starting with one person in particular. Uh, I like John. I like John. He's that clean cut, all American guy. He's definitely like, like somebody was sorting through cast photos and was just like, try to find like the most chiseled jawline and like, like a good old boy that like, just like every mom wants her daughter to date. Oh, John. Okay. This is, this is, it's gonna be your Ben Browder. 
Uh, yeah, I don't know any of the names except Claudia Black, which I know her specifically because people were freaking out about her being in Ahsoka as a witch. But I don't know anything else from her. And unless people say it, and then I'd be like, oh, yeah, I do know her from that. But I don't know her by name, and I, I wouldn't be able to pick her out of a lineup. I might be able to now. She's very pretty. I like her accent. Uh, I like how tough she is. Um, I like that she has been affected by our human compassion. Um, she seems like she might give us problems left and right, but she might also turn out to be incredibly loyal. So uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Uh, Rigel, I was like, he's dope. Oh, he's so awesome. Farts helium. I mean, that's a cool party trick. If I could do that and make people squeak, that'd be great. Um, <laughs> he's like, there's no smell. And they're like, yeah, that's what your loyal subjects told you. Uh, so either way, if anyone starts speaking with a high pitched voice, we know why. <laughs> uh, what a dumb thing to add in there. And I absolutely love it. I love that. It, it, I don't know if there's a purpose for it later on. If, if we utilize his toots to like fill up a balloon and fly away. I don't know. But all I'm saying is, is that like, I don't know if it needed to be in there, but damn, do I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I love the, the character design. I love the lighting. Obviously the graphics are, are aged and they show it, but I'm not upset about it. Like I kind of know what I'm getting myself into, you know, uh, you can't expect to watch something older and have it look new, but it doesn't look bad. Um, I'm, I'm actually pretty surprised and not that I'm like for 1999, but for like 1999, like, you know, you can go back and watch the original Jurassic Park and that looks pretty good. Um, not the best, obviously it's gotten better, but like, it's not awful. It's not completely awful. The ships look great. Moya, who is Leviathan class, I think, or just a Leviathan, which makes me think of The Expanse. Um, oh gosh, there were so many things that they named in there. It's going to take me a while. I don't know if I need to go back and rewatch this and take notes and like th where people are from, who they're loyal to, where they escaped from, why they were imprisoned. Diargo, like threatening John, I think is kind of like just something like warriors do. Like I'm like, well, that doesn't seem appropriate. But at the same time, I'm, I'm sure it's like establishing a boundary and that probably needed to be done because it's not like they're like dudes <laughs> you know but they might be they might get that way um the little robots i don't know what they're called but like he fixed his little light oh my god whoever sent me this whoever sent me this you sent it to me like two years ago in my p.o box when i first started my channel you wanted me to watch farscape let me know down in the comments below if this was you and I appreciate you because now it makes sense. You knew that I would love this. You knew that I would love those little droids, little, little robots, little machines. I don't know what everything does. At least it doesn't have pincers. The, the, the little like <laughs> pincer thing that came out. I was like, Ooh, <laughs> don't caliper me. Yeah. I think I'm going to like this show. I think I'm going to like this show. Um, I, I don't know if like the the excitement and the newness of like the characters and in the alien looks and the puppeteering I don't know if any of that wears off and then it's just kind of like like the show and like if there's depth to it or you know emotions and stuff like that like I was already getting emotions when John was talking to his dad like that that is one dad that is incredibly proud of his son and his son is incredibly proud of his dad it's just hard living in his shadow. And, you know, uh, I, I don't know who his friend was, but his friend was cute as well. That 90s hair. That's, so I graduated in 98. This came out in 99. So that's what all the guys in my high school look like when I was a teenager. So I'm just like, I'm taking me back. <laughs> Gotta love 90s hair. Oh, it was great. Uh, I would have this, but I would have like those pieces that would come straight down and slick down. I think my graduation photo, I have those. So I have like my graduation cap and then just like, two little sticks of hair and pale, super pale, super heavy makeup, you know, 90s makeup. <laughs> it's good stuff. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited to watch this show. And it, it definitely, you know what? Don't sit on the very edge of the chair. You will tip over. Uh, I'm, I'm super excited to get into this series. It, it's, 
it's interesting. And I, I will be watching the first season in completion and then moving on to Babylon 5 and then coming back to it because sometimes things get a little heavy and I just need to take breaks. Um, I will also be watching Doctor Who, uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, among other shows. Um, I think One Piece is currently also on the channel and on Patreon. Uh, and this will have the full-length version available for you on Patreon in watch-along format because copyright, because they don't like when we just let you guys see things in its entirety. So if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this, that will be available on our Patreon, my Patreon, um, the Patreon, <laughs> uh, and a couple episodes early. But in the meantime, remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. <laughs> first of all, how old were you when you first saw this show? And second of all, uh, were you nearly as delighted as I am? Because this is fun. I mean, there's heavy elements to it for sure. And I'm sure we're going to get more uh, heavier, more in-depth into the characters. But like, this is fun. I'm excited for fun. I think it's interesting and it's fun. I love things that are fun. I think everything should be fun. I, I'm definitely looking for a little bit more lighthearted stuff on the channel because I do a lot of crying. I do a lot of crying, a lot of crying, a lot of crying. If I cry in this, that's fine because I think there will be something lighthearted waiting for me around the corner. <laughs> so guys, come back here for the next episode. I'm super excited for this series. So in the meantime, WrestleMania just started. I got to go. All right. <laughs> Bye. Woo!